Roy Lichtenstein was a famous artist who was known for making comic book-like paintings with primary colors, lots of action, black outlines, and small red dots called bende dots, as well as action and sound words called onomatopoeias. Today we're going to be inspired by Roy Lichtenstein's comic book style pop art by using the same primary colors, black outlines, and Ben Day dots to create a background. A really cool material that we're going to be using to do this is da, 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 bubble wrap. We're going to be print making with bubble wrap to create those Ben Day dots papers and backgrounds to add in our very own artworks today. I'll show you how. Your final artwork will be a collage of your printmaking of Ben Day dots and then the words that you would like to add to this artwork. So lots of different processes. You'll be printmaking and painting a background. You will be writing words that you want to express in your art. You'll be layering over um, some different printmaking and making, uh, cutting and pasting different shapes together uh, to make this awesome collage and message inspired by Roy Lichtenstein. At your tables, there will be different sizes of bubble wrap and different colors at each table. If you want a different color to paint on your bubble wrap, you'll have to switch tables. We're also going to add white to some of the paint to make sure that it stands out on the paper. Then you're going to use a big brush and gently set the paint on top of the bubbles. You don't want to get too much paint in between the bubbles because then the circles won't print as well. Cover it quickly so that then you can press your paper down over top of it, give it a good massage, and then when you lift it up, it will reveal that print that you made. Set the paintbrush down and then if you're switching colors, you'll probably have to switch tables. Notice how there's different sizes of papers that you can use depending on what you're creating or if you're making a whole background, you would do it on your whole paper. There's also different sizes of bubble wrap. So now I'm doing blue again, letting the paint sit on top of the bubble wrap, not pushing it way down in. We should not be popping the bubbles. Then I can set my paper down on top of the bubble wrap. Now I always wanna make sure my name and class code is on my paper. Then I give it a massage and gently lift it up to reveal the print. I can sometimes print two or even three times. This is called a ghost print where it might be a little bit lighter, but it can probably still work for what we're doing. You can create a variety of prints of paper that are different colors of paint or different colors of paper to help you create your Roy Lichtenstein inspired artwork. Those were all papers that could be cut out and glued on to a final artwork. Your other option is you can take your final paper, write your name and class code on the back, and print directly onto the white paper. So here I'm using a strip of bubble wrap to create those bend day dots in a line. So I'm using my paintbrush and paint really thick, covering that strip. And then if you're using a smaller piece, sometimes it's easier to place it on top of the paper and gently press down, give it a massage to print those dots. Again, it's pretty okay to do some ghost prints um, with these smaller pieces. Um, notice how it's printing pretty well. And then you can go ahead and repeat that to make a cool pattern on your final paper. You can also use a bigger piece of bubble wrap on your final paper to fill the space. Notice how you don't have to necessarily fill the whole piece of bubble wrap. You can do parts of it, press your paper down, give it a massage, and then you can paint around it or you can go to a different table and use different sizes and colors of bubble wrap. If you have white space in between, you could even just paint a pattern without the bubble wrap in between if you would like to as well. Remember, we're using all primary colors to be inspired by the comics of Roy Lichtenstein. So that is what we are focused on today. 
Later on, we will add those black outlines in between designs. We will be making onomatopoeia words or gluing other things on top of these awesome Ben Day dot backgrounds. I can't wait to see what you create.